welcome to analytics with nax i'm happy and excited to announce this is my 500th video in this youtube channel it's been a long journey but i thankful for you all your support and i'm happy to share my knowledge through this channel and this video is very special so that i want to make a very meaningful content so i choose one of the topic that is regular versus limited which is not for beginners but if you are beginner it doesn't mean that you should not watch or learn you are free to learn but this is somewhat uh, tricky topic and very useful while you are deciding how you can properly decide on your model i mean design right your model with this note let's begin our today's topic before that this channel contains uh, contents that are related to power bi ms bi and fundamentals of azure as well as sql please share this channel with your friends and colleagues so what it is basically in evolution perspective relationships are classified either regular or limited and how it is defined you are not as a modeler or a designer power bi developer you are not deciding anything uh, like whether it should be regular or limited while you are designing the model creating the relationship based on the cardinality type and based on the different data sources right and storage mode this regular and limited are inferred or power bi itself will create internally and how or what regular relationship it is right a model relationship is regular when the query engine can determine one side of a relationship then it becomes a regular what is a limited relationship a model relationship is related limited when there is no guarantee one side meaning like it can happen either because of two reasons it is like there is no one side of a relationship if it is a many to many cardinality type then you will get the limited relationship as well as if it is the cross source group i will cover all this uh, topics whatever is highlighted basically you can you define a relationship based on the cardinality type based on the data source or storage mode and your cross source group your relationship is classified as regular or limited why it is important because it implies the performance simplification if you are having a regular relationship your queries will be performant efficient if you have a limited relationship obviously your queries are performant deficient and also if you have a limited relationship there is a integrity consequences i will also cover about this let's try to understand each and every uh, concepts over here whatever i highlighted cardinality data source and cross source group what is a cardinality so if you define a relationship between the tables you always have a one to many many to many and one to one many to one right so preferably you have one to many relationship meaning like table expansion takes place from many to the one side basically fact to the dimension that uses the left outer join semantics when a matching value from many to the one side does not exist a blank virtual row is added to the one side table why it is important just you need to understand it like why the star schema we are insisting from the beginning is like when you have a sales fact table one to many and you have product and category that is one to many now how this table expansion work is this is the sales table and table will be expanded like that once you create a relationship by default internally table expansion will be happen like this and there are some cases where you don't have like uh the members the product id this is the product code product id does not exist in your product dimension then what happens in that case there will be blank rows will be created this is the behavior of one to many that is why it is very important now <coughs> what happens uh to the next topic 
there is I, I told there are three different aspects we need to check upon for considering the um, limited or regular relationship one is cardinality which is uh, about cardinality how when you define a cardinality how this table expansion happen now second point is all about data connectivity and storage mode where you will use this while you are connecting the data or importing the data right you will use two different option import or direct query mode this is the data connectivity this will also impact your regular or limited relationship settings but so just i want you understand what are the configurations you are making uh, to make your relationship regular or limited so this is import direct query or composite model sources basically if you have a one table is in import another table in direct query then your model become composite model right so this is what i want to clarify this is just a recap next third important topic uh, that decides uh, limited or regular is your source group let's take an example over here meaning like we have uh, one set of tables that has vertipack meaning import mode another set of tables that is in the direct query mode so power bi internally creates a source group this everything in the same connection same database then it will be in one group that is source group these two tables are in uh, direct query mode are in the different source group so this is what the source group is all about so now relationship can be classified as intra source group or inter source group or cross source group meaning like uh, within this group there is a relationship this is called intra and there is sometimes we will create a relationship between uh, one table in uh, vertipack another table in the direct query this will call inter source group we are done with all the fundamentals now coming to what decides the regular relationship now we can see a model relationship is regular when a query engine can determine one side of relationship all one to many intra source group relationship are regular relationship if you see in this example um the all one to many intra source group right meaning like uh, this is one regular relationship also within this direct query this is also a regular relationship so this is what a regular relationship is so what is the advantage of uh, re regular relationship power bi creates a data structure for each regular relationship at data refresh time while you refreshing the data these data structures are created index mapping for all columns to columns are also created meaning it will be query performant at query time regular relationship permit table expansion to happen table expansion we saw just before now there comes a uh, limited relationship a relationship uses a many to many or the relationship is cross source group meaning like if you see within the verti pack right if you have a many to many relationship that becomes a limited also another reason why a relationship become a limited because a relationship is cross source group one table in uh, import another table in uh, direct query then also it becomes a limited relationship what is the implication data structures are never created in the limited relationship table expansion never occur for limited relationship table joins are achieved using the inner join semantics whereas one to many if you see there is a left outer join semantics here it is the inner join semantics so i hope uh, you understand uh, right now about uh, limited as well as the regular relationship now what is very performant uh, wise uh, effective it is one to many intra source group relationship many to many model and many to many cardinality relationship cross source group relationship this is the order of uh, performancely uh, well structured uh, what do you call model if you have one to many that should take the performance best next you can have a many to many 
uh, within the intermediate table you should have then only you should go for many to many cardinality also cross those group this is the sequence of priorities you should define your model so that is why we always insist on star schema star schema is so important with very simple one to many relationship and regular with import mode will save all of your uh, performance and um, your data refresh time your queries will be faster this with this note let's try to understand why we insist on star schema and regular relationship right so i hope you like this video i will have a quick demo uh, about showing this impact in real time now we have a regular relationship and limited relationship examples here both shows the exact results right now i will show the model if you see here i have a import model right this fact table and three dimension table so this is the typical uh, regular relationship one to many within the intra source group whereas the limited relationship i imported two tables from a direct query i connected to the import model you can see this is the import and here it is the direct query when you use the different groups you can see this is the symbol for limited relationship so what is the impact uh, as we saw before the limited relationship uses the inner join semantics and uh, regular relationship use the left outer join meaning like if some member is missing in the dimension right so i'm going to remove dim tail solitary france from both the uh, the dimension that is one from regular relationship and i use the uh, dim cells territory from the direct so once i remove that is that the france member does not exist in the dimension what happens to both your regular and limited let's try to understand it let me go to power query transform data same sales territory i would like to uh, exclude the france here I, i'm not deleting anything i just from the power query perspective i'm just ignoring it that's it there you go now you can see i removed the france as soon as i removed the france from the dimension the limited relationship works as a inner join semantics that removed your data from the dimension whereas the regular relationship use the left outer join semantics if you see in my diagram over here the blank rows are created that is why you get a blank here and value and also these totals will sum up to 29355 whereas in limited relationship this will not sum up to 29355 but it removes one uh, member that creates some integrity issues so this is why we insist on using the uh, regular relationship within the same model there is integrity issues we cannot able to control in the power bi i hope you understand the purpose of uh, regular and uh, limited relationship why people insist on star schema within the same model or within the same database with this examples if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries and do remember that data is your asset